good morning campus! Last time, last episode, we left off in the Casino Night Zone and, you know, somewhere else. I think the Aquatic Ruin. And in this episode, we're gonna do Hilltop Zone. And Hilltop Zone is actually one of my favorite zones in the entire game. Have not the slightest idea why. And you know, just the atmosphere of it is just so incredible. You know, you're, you're up in the clouds in these mountains, you know. And the mountains somehow produce lava? I have not the slightest idea how that works, but nothing in Sonic particularly ever makes sense, so don't question it, you know, Sega logic as I always say. Actually, I don't even know if people say it's Sega logic, but whatever, I'm probably not the first. That was really weird. <laughs> Tails just died, okay. Yeah, I really like Hilltop Zone. It's sort of gimmicky, I guess you could say. I guess the only gimmick is sort of those elevator-like things, but other than that, it's it's a fine zone, you know. And I guess one of the reasons I might love it so much is mainly because of its music, you know, it has that smooth jazz-like feel, and I probably described that all wrong, but it appeals to my black man senses, so I, I, I like it, you know. Gotta love heel top zone. Oh god. <laughs> Got stuck in a hard corner there. Got stuck between a rock and a hard place. Oh yeah, these parts are always fun when stuff caves in on you for no apparent reason. And oh, <laughs> yeah. For some reason I always get stuck in that little crevice every time I play this freaking game. Have not the slightest idea why. Oh well, that's the end of the level. <coughs> we completed the level, Sonic got through Act 1. Alright, here we go to Act 2. But I really love how, um, in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, every two zones is when you fight a boss. Because in the original Sonic the Hedgehog, you had to do three zones before you fight the boss. And in this game, you only do two. So that basically gave them a lot more time to actually focus on, you know, making more zones, rather than just making, you know, three levels per zone, and then make each zone kind of feel really long. Because compared to, like, the other Sonic game, like Sonic the Hedgehog 1, this one feels a lot longer for some reason, and I guess that's because you go to a lot more zones than you do in the other one, because, you know, that has three zones, I mean, three acts per zone, rather than, you know, two, like this game. So, I don't know, I just like that formula a lot better, and they kind of stuck with it, you know? In Sonic 3, you still have two acts per zone. So, uh, I don't know, I guess people like that formula better, because I know I sure do. I don't know, when you have three acts per zone, it just seems like it's going on and becoming a little bit too repetitive because the levels do always look similar. Like, no matter what way you put it, you know, the levels are always gonna look similar. And when you see it three times, it's just sort of like, ugh, when am I gonna get out of here, man? But, you know, like I said, they perfected everything with Sonic 2, you know? Sonic 2, this, just that game where. It, you know, you gotta praise it when you do a let's play of it. You can't not leave out all the small details. You know, if you're gonna do a let's play of this game, praise it! Praise the Lord in the name of Jesus! <laughs> Alright, oh, I'm gonna die really soon here if I don't get some rings. Gotta, gotta get those rings, man. Get those rings. And we're coming up on the boss real soon here. I can't remember if the boss was hard or not. Wait. Well, I remember the boss itself, but... Oh no, it's not hard at all. Crap, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting a Skype call right in the middle of my recording. It's like literally right in the front of the screen, you black boogaloo shrimp. I'm gonna kill you all. I told you guys I was gonna go record, and it's like right, right there. I should have turned Skype off. Why am I doing this? Uh, uh, decline it? Oh god, I hope that didn't mess up the record- you blastards. <laughs> I would cut that out, but I'm, I'm just too lazy. I'm too lazy. Uh, whatever. <laughs> We're in Mr. Cave Zone. Mr. Cave Zone is another one of my favorite zones. Even though I used to think this zone was really, really hard as a kid. Mainly because they, they do a lot of jerkish stuff in this zone. Like, there are a few pits that you can fall in that you really can't recover from. Like. I know in particular, I think in Act 2, there's like this pit that you can fall in that has spikes at the bottom, and Sonic isn't physically able to jump all the way back up to the top, so you're just, you know, you're stuck down there, and there's no way you can get back up. So I don't know why they didn't just like, put a bottomless pit there instead of like a spike pit, because that's just wasting more of your time. 
but uh, I don't know. I guess Sega just wants you to see Sonic die with no mercy at all. You know? At least spikes don't insta kill you in this game like they do in various other video games like freaking Mega Man and Yoshi's Island and all these other great games that are out there that insta kill you with spikes. But at least they don't in Sonic, you know. Trying to differentiate themselves from Nintendo and Capcom, I guess. I'm not really sure. Wow. I really like the music in this stage as well, though. Probably another reason why I like it so much. I, I'm not really sure. Um, Mr. Cave Zone notes. It's actually probably about where the game's difficulty actually starts picking up and it starts to become a lot harder. Like in this zone, I just get hit a lot more than I usually do. Because <laughs> there's spikes and all these crushing things everywhere, like those little things that cru I don't even know. I've never been crushed by one before, but I, I pretty much can already tell they probably insta-kill you. Those little green-looking things. I, I don't, I'm not really sure what they are. Uh, oh well. <laughs> and the boss of this zone gives me a lot of trouble. <laughs> not even gonna lie, I'm not even looking forward to it right now. Because I always lose my rings on it and have to do it over. I guess no boss can be as bad as when I did so terribly on the Chemical Plant Zone boss, but eh, I don't know. I, I don't even know, man. <laughs> but we got invincibility, so we don't have to worry about a darn thing right now. Let's keep on, keep on tripping, Sonic. Keep on tripping, Sonic. Why am I singing? If I'm gonna sing, I should at least sing to the invincibility music. Oh, this is what I was talking about. Wow, how ironic of me to actually fall into the pit that I was talking about. But this is that one pit, you know, that you fall down and then it's just like, you gotta start the entire level over because you stand into that one spot pit and it's just not the best thing. Oh, thank you, Sega. Thank you for these, for these very encouraging jumps, you know. So, it seems very weird to say this, but you gotta, you gotta have a lot of patience in this zone. Which isn't something most people have in Sonic games because you're going way too fast, you know. You want to go fast, you know, you're trying to go fast, but the game is preventing you, so that's something to get used to, and that's sort of a cool thing they incorporated into the game. Who incorporated into the game, that is. Okay, well, let's watch out for that jump again. I don't know why I'm taking the exact same route, but you gotta jump on this, or else you're pretty much gonna die. <laughs> Just like I did, and wow, that- thanks, slow moving- oh, god. <laughs> I'm just playing so terribly. I wish I was as good as Sonic games as I was Mario games, even though they're pretty much not the same. I'm not gonna say the same. Probably gonna piss off a lot of people if I said that. But, you know, it's platforming, and I love platformers, and I'm probably fairly decent at Sonic, but really, really good at Mario, I guess I could say. You know? I don't know. That's just me. And the boss is actually already here. I never remembered Mr. Cave being so freaking short, but whatever. Whatever, man. Okay, and he has good old Dr. Robit Robotnik himself. Dr. Robotnik. And this is why I have a lot of trouble on him, just simply because I'm just so impatient. Wait, um, these rocks. The rocks can't damage you in any sort of way, but the spikes can. So just remember that. Remember that. Heed my words. Did I just get a boss for beating him? Oh, because I hit, um, one million points, or, I don't even know how to count. I, I can't count. You know? <laughs> I guess if you get that amount of points that's right there, <laughs> you get a life. Didn't actually know that. Alright. So that's the end of this episode. <laughs> I hope I didn't ramble too much, and I hope that Skype call didn't interrupt me too much. Freaking Boogaloo Shrimp. <laughs> But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 2, where we take on the oil ocean.